if you've seen my previous video, I modified a couple of transmitters with LEDs for the backlight, and it worked pretty well, except um, if, I, if I turn this on, I'll show you. You'll notice some areas of the screen is brighter than the other, so you'll notice these four bright spots. It's kind of like the flashlight effect, and you know, it does the job, but it kind of, to some people, that kind of doesn't look very professional. So I got myself some EL panels, which are electroluminescent. They're very thin, as you can see, and they're flexible. It's almost like a sheet of cardboard that has been laminated. And the great thing about this is you can cut them the size, put them behind your LCD screen. What you'll also need is an, an inverter. Since EL panels use AC power to convert um, to light, you need you need an inverter because your transmitter has DC power so what will happen is DC power goes in here so this will accept up to 12 volts DC into here uh, make note of the positive and negative obviously and then you would solder the EL panel to these two leads here and it doesn't matter which one you solder to because the EL panel doesn't have a positive and negative so it so you solder the EL panel to the this side and DC power to the other side and that's pretty much it and then you would stick it behind your LCD screen and it would light up so here's an EL panel which I already soldered to the inverter and I'm gonna add um, a battery to it and you can see it glow so let's just turn off the lights and see how bright it is Turn off the light there. So all you're gonna see is really the light from my monitor. There you go. I think this mod is actually much simpler than the the LED mod because you don't have to make um, an LED array with um, resistors and, and and whatnot. This is just very simple soldering the LCD panel. Um, the EL panel to the inverter and then you solder the positive and negative from your transmitter and that is it and and uh, put this behind your LCD screen so to do this mod obviously you're gonna have to take apart your uh, Flysky 9X or Turn G9X and you definitely have to take out the batteries and then unscrew the the screws here 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 and here so there's six screws and then the the, sh the shell, sh the back shell should come right off, and then it's there's also uh, some wires that connect it to the front, so detach those. And then what you'll see now is the back of the transmitter. The main PCB board is here, and once you take apart the screws in the corners, the black screws in the corners, and the gold screws, the five gold screws in the center of the PCB board, um, it will reveal the the LCD screen. So take the LCD screen out of the transmitter and what you're left is this. There's a silver label or backing on the back of the LCD screen. And if you want you can peel it off but it's actually kind of hard to get the, um, the residue off of it so I wouldn't recommend it. Even with the the backing on it it's pretty bright. So and I, and I And I took the backing off and I accidentally took out the polarization layer with it as well and that's not good because when you take off the polarization layer you don't see anything fortunately for me I thought about just taking the polarization layer off of a an alarm clock I had I had an LCD alarm clock with a backlight and I just uh, removed the polarization layer from the screen of that since I don't really use the alarm clock anyways I I just sacrificed it so I took the polarization layer off that the LCD screen on the alarm clock and I stuck it on the back of the the 9X LCD screen and it worked so I was really happy that it that worked out so um, I wouldn't recommend taking this backing off because it's actually pretty bright even with the backing on um, I did this mod to the DX6i like here and let me just turn off the light here and I left the silver backing on and as you can see it's still very bright so instead of wasting your time trying to take that silver backing off and possibly screwing up the polarization layer I say just leave it on there. What you're going to need to do is obviously trim the the EL panel because it's a little too big so just put the the original LCD screen onto the EL panel and 
trace it out and then cut off the excess and what you might want to do is maybe test it out before putting it back into the transmitter so like I said before um, the EL panel doesn't have a positive and negative so just solder it to the inverter on the side that says EL but uh, when you solder the positive and negative they have to be they have to be correct when you're soldering it from the transmitter um, the positive and negative I I got from here these two points here um, the red is the positive and the white is the negative and these go into the EL invert as seen in this picture and once you're done uh, it's just a matter of putting everything back the way it is and you're finished making sure everything is um, tidy and doesn't get in the way and make sure you heat shrink everything this way you know nothing gets shorted and if you don't have uh, heat shrink tubing you can use some electrical tape just put the screws back on the PCB panel the five gold ones and the four black ones and then put on the back cover the six black screws for the back cover and turn it on and you should have this nicely lit back screen and this looks very much like the the Timex in the glow watches it looks really nice and very clean and no more flashlight effect so that's it for this mod it, it doesn't cost a whole lot it's about twenty dollars and you can get all the parts from eBay and um, like I said, it's a lot easier than the LED mod, and in fact, I've already done my DX6i as well. So here's, you know, the Flysky 9X or the Turnigy 9X. So you turn that on. Actually, very nice. And same thing with the DX6i. Very nice. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's very simple. Just soldering a couple of wires and cutting the EL panel so as long as you have the right um, parts you're good to go